Well, Chengdu may be one of China's mega cities, but you wouldn't guess it from where I'm sitting right now. It's four o'clock on a weekday afternoon, and this downtown tea house is just bustling. It's one of countless institutions across the city, serving people who think of tea as a culture and a lifestyle. People can spend the entire day at these sprawling outdoor tea houses, playing games, eating snacks, and chit-chatting with their friends. Now, I've heard, especially for retirees, that this is quite a normal way to pass time. I came here at 11 o'clock. What time is it now? Is it 5 p.m.? I'll read a book, talk with my friends, enjoy the tea. Older guys can stay here the whole day or a half day. We had nothing to do today, so we're just walking by. Now, you may have noticed a metallic clanging in the background. That's the sound of another Chengdu specialty, ear cleaning. Don't let the tools put you off. It's quite relaxing and very much part of the experience here. Now, this is just one example of a tea house here in Chengdu, a more traditional type. But in recent years, more and more modern ones have been springing up. So we wanted to check out one of those as well. Just a 15-minute drive away, tucked behind some bamboo, is this tea house. It's popular online, and not just for tea, but other tea-based beverages. This is one of their specialties. It's a tea that's brewed cold. It's a lot more subtle, and it's quite refreshing. On the menu, a variety of leaves sourced from around the region, and also milk tea. The atmosphere is noticeably different. No loud chatter, no ear cleaning, that's for sure. I even see some customers with laptops. The manager says it's younger people who are drawn to the store. They'll order a pot of tea or a drink and sit and read a book or do some work. Plus, it's not very noisy here. It's not like those outdoor dead style tea houses. It's loud there. Everyone talking, cracking melon seeds. There's also some tea houses more geared towards business people. They might feel it's not very appropriate to work there. So I think it suits them well here. It's not just for work though. The manager shows me a special area which hosts classes as well as a weekly tea club. We'll do blind tastings. We won't tell the customer what tea it is, so they will concentrate more when they taste it. If I ask you to guess, you will pay more attention. You won't just drink a few sips, drink it for fun. You will think about the color, the aroma, the fermentation, where it's from. You will search for it in your mind. They might not come every day, but the interest is there, centered more around learning and tasting than pure socializing. And so to those who say young Chinese have lost their appreciation for tea, I say they may just be looking in the wrong places. Nicole Ng, CGTN Chengdu.